and welcome back to Forts and today we're gonna be playing just a good old vanilla match of Forts because this is my first match, at least the first recording, after getting the brand new computer. So I've got ahead and uh, fixed the computer issues that we were having and you know what? With it, I went ahead and updated a lot of things on my setup, not just on my computer, but also in forts. I've gone ahead and redone my keybinds a bit, done all the things I wish I could have done, and now we are recording in full 60 frames per second, and it looks so good. So let's just go ahead and get this match going. This is a standard vanilla match of forts, and we have a three versus three. I'm spawning here on the bottom position, so let's go ahead and keep moving forward. Now, in a standard 3v3 like this, I do tend to go for more economic style builds, just because I tend to have to use it all in order to, to finish out the game. Frankly, uh, in my experience, if I... If I if I'm not the one to close out the game, then the game goes for a very long time. So rather than going for some super rushy, completely wipe out the enemy team as quickly as possible, instead I'm gonna go for uh, making sure I can I can wipe out the enemy team in a methodical pattern. So let me go ahead and reset this hotkey. There we go. Nice camera locations all working. So I've gone ahead and updated all of my keybinds, and instead of using the the cycle camera location hotkey button, I'm instead going to be using the proper uh, proper set of uh, camera location hotkeys. Typically, I just use the cycle hotkey. I set all my hotkeys up, but unfortunately, that one breaks whenever there's a. Uh, whenever the, the maker of the map doesn't set the proper base camera positions to start with, which is uh, really rather unfortunate. So I'm practicing using a different hotkey setup. So we'll, we'll go ahead and see how that how that works out. Uh, for this map, I am going to be going for lasers. Tim8 said he's going cannons. I'll let him do that. That is a good choice. Uh, frankly, I was choosing between cannons and lasers, and on versing hanging bases like this, where I am a hanging base facing off another one, I find lasers to be extremely effective, uh, just because you can uh, slaughter the enemy by by disconnecting them from their from their base, which is pretty pretty easy to do most of the time. If I get a nice clean shot through either this position or this position with my laser setup, then they are going to plummet into the void, and that is what we want them to do. We want them to fall and plummet into the void. So let's go ahead and start moving toward that direction. It is now two and a half minutes on the clock, and we've got some time to keep going. Now, I haven't gone with a full rush. This isn't as the swift as possible. Uh, so at this point, I'm gonna, I notice that he has background bracing here and no visible turbines, meaning he's likely to have turbines here. So energy shields are going to be a very high probability here. So I'm not going to want to be using lasers to hit that position. I'm floating resources while sitting here talking about things. There we go. Fix. So I don't want to be hitting my laser at this location at my opponents, but this spot will still be vulnerable. So I'm going to set up my my lasers to best target this location. And for that, I want to set them up right about here, if possible. Uh, either on this location, this box here, or this one itself. And you guys have seen me do this uh, several times on stream, where I'll simply navig simply extend the base out the front, which will serve the dual purpose of defending as well as providing a location for my weapons to go. So let's go ahead and build out here while we wait. The, tech the factory is almost completed. Build out of one grid space this way. There we go. Nice large boxes. Just a little bit of... I don't, I don't really need that, it's not that big a deal. And factory is completed and we were able to put this down almost immediately. We are now coming up on the four minute mark, which means our lasers will not be available to fire for a short time. Uh, I am being targeted, or at least someone is being targeted on the team, by a nuke. It looks like it's going to my teammate, and my teammate has uh, greedily put down multiple cannons without defending them. Uh, it was something that a lot of us will do. Uh, but it is a good way to make sure that you are uh, punished, punished very heavily for your transgression of not defending your weapons. Make sure to always have at least something in front of them, otherwise that can happen. So I'm going to be building these guys here, and then putting my doors up, uh, and then making sure this is all double braced, or cross braced, that way, that way if it gets hit it doesn't deform too harshly. Uh, notice the first thing I did is put up my anti-air, that is to assist both me and my teammates. And so the next time the nuke comes around, it uh, 
it gets shot out of the sky, or at least we try to, because you guys know that it doesn't work out very well. Uh, next up, I do need to get my double doors set up here. Uh, it's really tempting to put some machine gunners here, but uh, I really do need my double doors, because I've gone for not so much of a rush. It is entirely possible that this player has, so he may have a laser before I do, and I need to be able to take that hit. In fact, he could have this laser hitting me right about now. So this is why I'm focusing on having these doors down uh, as soon as possible. In fact, let me just cover this up real quick. That way, it doesn't appear that there may be something there for him to, something there for me to hit, for him to hit. So he's going to have his laser weapons right down here, and I can use my fire beam to destroy some of that. Let's see. Yeah, that is that is a nice solid hit right there. Alright, if I can nail this shot, and if he hasn't uh, properly defended, then this will cut off his base. Indeed it does, and he is gone. Goodbye, friends. Being to get shot in that mess, which is fine, I can deal with it. I do not need to defend these very much. Uh, it's very unlikely there's a weapon that can actually go that far down as we begin our path, path up again. Let's continue doing this. I have no idea what's happening here. Uh, something got stuck. Okay, this is fine. Looks like teammate and I are vying for who can claim that location. Let's go ahead and try to disconnect. Nope. nope. Mm. Now let's just try to snipe that laser. There we go. Nice. Remove that whole then having weapons thing. Keep my teammate nice and safe. Activate commander ability. I need an upgrade center to continue forward. There we go. So now I have access to additional mines, which is additional economy and can do bigger and better things with it. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to be spending it on some additional anti-air because we need it. I want to be really careful here is the enemy does have access to a second base so what I'm going to do is try to snipe out right there and cut really deep into his base see what kind of damage we can do. Ooh, close. Looks like he only has some machine gunners back there. Nothing terribly dangerous. Uh, however this is going to cause a problem. That is a lot of extra economy that we do not want him to have. So let's go ahead and get some additional turbines here because I'm floating floating metal without having the energy to make up for it. Let's go ahead and do this. There we go. I need to get rid of his mines if at all possible. Those additional mines are going to cause a problem very quickly. If I can clear these mines out, I would be very, very happy. Just remove that whole bonus he has for having additional territory. There's one disconnect. Need to aim this guy a little bit higher. Not quite high enough, but we did disconnect him again. All right, we're, we're keeping him constantly disconnected, so any energy shields and such you'd have there will be um, will be taken apart. Uh, no, that's gonna be a problem. You cannot. You need to not. I need to not let that happen. Ooh, good thing we have the extra economy because he just did to me what I wanted to do to him. I need to get a battery down. Commander ability is not yet available. Right, I don't believe he'll have an energy shield up there yet, so let's go ahead. Oh, he has the energy shield up. Good. That's unfortunate. I need to get one of these guys here myself. There we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is use these gunners to try to figure out where his other energy shields are. He doesn't have one there. Let's go ahead and go back, send that all the way across and get rid of anything he has there, which I suspect would be wind turbines. Machine gunners, do your thing, please. Machine gunners, no! <laughs> Cutting it real close there, boys. Alright. There we go. Let's try to snipe out some of this. He built a fire beam down there, and that is my new target. 
happy to have you removed. It's not that bad, it'll be right here. Like so. Which means these are now vulnerable once more. Let's go ahead and build this out. Let's set this up. There we go. Make sure this is nice and safe. So we need to aim this a little bit higher. Like there. And clear out that fire beam. There it is. That should clear up most of the things he has there. And I need to set up another another weapon system to me. Available to me. Uh, I can set up another full-on plasma laser here. That's a pretty pretty good idea, I think. Let's go ahead and set you right here. Just put this down and then get the metal doors on it. There we go. Upgrade this guy. He still has some gunners up there. Let's just try to start applying pressure over there and we should be okay. There we go. And another door. Need another moment on that one. At this point, I'm just looking to apply more pressure to him. Because I don't have the ability to actually end the game. Uh, but I'm going to have to... Gonna have to keep teching up here. I'm gonna need additional weapons such as mortars or many, many more lasers. It looks like he hasn't fully repaired. That's that little bit there, so I can take advantage of that. Send that a little bit deeper the next time this next time this weapon comes off cooldown. There we go. There we go. That probably hit a technology of some kind, which is good for me. Go ahead and set up another one of these guys. And the door, and the door. Look, 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 look. Not allowed. Ooh, out of energy. That's good. Good for me, not so good for him. Continue doing this. Fire this guy a little bit lower. He's got nothing left back there. So now I'm just going to be aiming straight toward his core, if at all possible. Looks like he's got a lot of metal there. Metal, uh, very good at blocking all the things. Uh, not very good at being cheap to repair. So he's going to have a hard time repairing all of that. But he's... I'm not sure if he's trying to spend his mo I'm not sure what he's spending his money on. Because he's not he's not spending on a lot of things. I've got another one of these here. Let's move this up. There we go. Just keep the fire on points. Take me another hit here. I am concerned because if top base gets a second fire beam, uh, he could completely destroy my weapons through their through their doors, which is not good. Good for me. Alright, go through there. That's almost at his core. This guy's almost fully repaired. Once he's fully repaired, and if I nail this shot, which is not, not necessary to happen, then we can go straight to his core. Got him! Player eliminated. Alright, next up, top base with his once war missiles and, and all of his current energy weapons. Looks like the final opponent is yielding? You need to be rearranged. Like so. A single door. Will you do it? Come on, machine gun. Nope, you are not the cause. Alright, can you hit the bottom? You could just barely hit the bottom there. So I want to keep aiming at the bottom here. It looks like the final opponent has given up. GG! Off to round two. This time, the lobby is, is a little bit different. You're playing a co-op map on Walls of Iron. This one is a uh, this one's a, kind of a messy one. If you guys remember this one, we just have to punch through, punch through from one base to the next. So, as always with any of these co-op style maps, we're going to be starting off with our economy and working our way from there. Uh, this looks like a miner's just placed down. In this case, it is a 2v3. Uh, I suspect because the host recognizes me, and uh, well, I recognize him too. He's He's been a player of forts for a long time. I uh, thought it would be a good idea to just start the game when it was 2v3, which is, to be fair, probably a bit more evenly matched. I didn't place that there. So this is a good, this is a very good thing that happens. I didn't place that there, my teammate did, which means uh, we're in the same kind of, same kind of thought process here, same kind of wavelength, and you know that always works out well. So things are looking 
quite good here. Let me go ahead and set this up. This was, I want my hotkey right here, and then over here for this guy. We need to get this across. Now, I can swing the core here, which I'm going to do at some point. Uh, we've got technology down. I can get some additional turbines going. We need to set this up for more turbines, actually. Four and five. Done and done. Oop. No, it looks like teammate attempted to move the core. Uh, didn't work out, but you know what? That's, uh, that's fine. Uh, it's actually quite nice to have our core not be present. That way we can use that area for weapons and... Actually, do I want to change this around? It's not... This isn't two and a half tall. So, that's, uh... It's not ideal. We could use that space better, and deformation will make utilizing that space more difficult. Uh, let's see. If I were to shorten this, I think that's a good idea. Just get rid of all of this and separate that. I'll, t I'll fix that up and make an adapter over there after we get this next technology going. Uh, let's see. Oh, I didn't put that down either. Nice! Okay, so that's very good. Let me go ahead and set this up real quick. Just redesign this little front bit. Let's do two and a half. Two and a half. Nice. Set this up as well. Slide you back. Slide you back. There we go. And this will be a little area of two and a half that we can work with. And we can put things like double can in there instead of just one and having an awkward small space in between. I could do the same thing on top. I don't think it's worth it. It'll be fine. We have that down. The next technology as well. Do we have an upgrade center down? We do now. All the mine slots are taken and those guys are building things onto another base. Let's go ahead and slide this out even more. Let's give us some more room to play with. There we go. Now, one thing we do have to be really concerned about are things like uh, snipers, things like cannons, things like uh, rockets. Rockets are the biggest concern because they can wipe out everything we have very quickly. Cannons are, are going to be another concern because they deal splash damage and can stack together really well. Uh, yep. But early game aggressive options are going to be highly concerning. And there's a sniper I mentioned. Good on you. There we go. Do that. Okay, should, can we place cannons now? Almost. Almost, but not quite. Let's see. Upgrade center is completed. Oh, not completed yet. And you are good to go. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh, that's covered. Traded. Nice. Okay, there's two cannons down. Uh, you see, this is what I was talking about. We're going to have that upper space. And there are the rockets. Rockets, very, very concerning. We can put another cannon right here behind all of this. And a th another one on top. We can start pushing through. Honestly, uh, rockets are usually the best option to go for on this map. Uh, their DPS is unmatched by anything. So it makes them very very good option, even if they're not heavy weapons, quote-unquote. There we go. As long as we keep these rebuilding, we should be okay here. Let's see, alternatively, we could place all, replace all of those with missiles, uh, swarm missile launchers, that'll be okay. Hey, laser fits in there nicely. Did not expect, but I'm okay with this. Get a couple more of these upgraded. We do want some more batteries back here. Yes, I know, I'm putting batteries in front of the core. This is fine. If this core gets reached, the game is already over. There we go. Just to support that, get two more batteries back here, if at all possible. Uh, let me, I'll let him, let him build things. This is another thing you'll see on this map, the usage of this trunk-like setup. This is fine. There we go. Oh dear, those those rocks didn't make it. This is why I'm, I'm leaving these gunners exposed. Yes, they're dying horribly, but they are also able to actually fire. If we had doors on that, uh, they would have no chance of being fired. Since so you hit the same location, door goes there. I didn't actually put that door there. Teammate did. This is... This makes me feel so happy, guys. Okay, let's just start opening these up. That way we don't have to do it while under fire. Very good. Okay, so I'm going to do this. Background brace. Like so. Here, and start setting this up so we could use some extra room here. Let's fix this. 
set this up like so. There we go. All right. I'm going to be firing where that sniper is. All right, sniper's no longer there. Now I'm going to be firing right where their core is, just straight to the core. And try to get the elimination. Uh, why are you not? Oh, there's just another door there. Okay. Cover you, cover you, cover you. Looks like we got it down to critical health values. That's why the critical sound noise sound music is going. This is all done. Laser's ready to go straight to the core. Do it! Oh, they got just enough metal there, just in time. Come on, keep it up. That's one hit. We're splashing the core down slowly. And there it is. It's gone. Alright, very good. Keep punching through. We should be good to go. Cannons are definitely the solution here. At least uh, until we have to switch up to rockets. If we switch up to rockets, cannons are usually high enough DPS to burn things down. Usually, I say. Unconvincingly. Very good. Just keep forcing our way through. Oh, they have a cannon up top. We can remove him. Should be right there. There we go. Can't hit it with this guy, but I can hit down below. This guy we can hit it with. Let's go ahead and get you replaced with some rockets or some higher DPS weapons. Oof. Our cannons are inset quite far, making them a little bit difficult to actually um, actually hit what we want to hit here. That's nice and far back. That's a good hit. Uh, those had better be rockets. Indeed they are. Very good, very good. Things are fine. We have another laser beam builds here. Alright, so we're up to uh, hitting peak performance here. This is... This is quite nice, actually. Let's go ahead and do this. Can we fit doors on you from these positions, or... Oh, some of them can. Some of them cannot. I'm just covering you up. Obviously, these things are quite precarious. I'm not gonna bother flying it. We can't door all three. One of them goes, they're all gonna go. That's going all the way through. Just do all the things. Commander ability and get those upgraded. Uh, we need more energy production here. There we go. Come on. There it is. Nice. Maximum rocketry. All of your energy shields are about to go away. I still want to hit that cannon. There it is. And it's gone. We can keep this going up here. Try to apply all the stress we can. Uh, I'm going to fire these right across here to get rid of those bullets. Oh, that's a collapse. So whatever they were working on there is no more. Go ahead, find those. Gone. We do have flak options. I suspect they don't have anything. Yeah, there's not going to be anything there. Uh, additional laserage. Ooh, this one is definitely going to be a fire, fire over. I'm not sure about this one. This is a trick that's very difficult. That's something that you only see the uh, longer term players actually do. Something I've read done myself a few times on the stream. Um, and that is to inset your weapons such that you can fire one weapon over another. So in this case, this laser can fire right over here, this cannon. It's not going to have very much of an angle, but it will have an angle, and it will do something, or at least it will try to do something, which is more than uh, more than not having that laser, which is, you know, what we need. Okay, let's go ahead. This cannon's not going to go all the way through. Are they not selling that cannon off? They're not selling the cannon off. They tried to protect it, and it did not work out at all. As we continue pummeling all the way through the base, I want to send this all the way to the back. There we go. Getting some disconnections across. There we go. Nice. Very good, very good, very good. Get a couple more of these going. Oh, yeah. The door was too far away, did not automatically open. And that is why that happened. It doesn't register that the door is in the way at some point. Uh, do we just want to sell off these doors? It's probably a good idea. At least that one around those lasers. Go ahead and fire your laser. Good. Cut all the way across. Reply with more rockets. Ooh, that's nice. Go! Oh, they still have doors being created on them. It looks like he set up some additional heavy weapons. We started to set up additional heavy weapons behind. 
This is fine, though it looks like we won't be needing them anytime soon. Uh, can I get another turbine set over here? I can. Let me fix this real quick. Such that we can fit a few more here. Two and three. There we go. We get that any closer, we're not gonna, not gonna be able to use those. Machine gunners. Looks like we need to have a flat here. Very good. There we go. Now, the only way we could feasibly get more damage output is if we replace all of this, like every one of these weapons, with rockets. Obviously, that's a bit more um, risky, uh, but it is theoretically more damage outputs. Thankfully, we do have these rockets here, which will severely help. Uh, this guy's upgraded. Fit some more here. Get you upgraded. Just need to make sure that we have positive damage output at this point. It's less about gimmicks so much as just keeping up the damage. Eventually, we will be able to deal damage faster than they are able to repair. Or at least faster than they are able to uh, gain energy, gain resources. So every time we shoot... eliminated and it, with it that's gonna take out a healthy bunch of their economy so this is gonna be a downward spiral very difficult for them to come back from sit here this is one of the reasons why I was aiming below for this base here trying to target the mines that way they don't oh now we've made it all the way back to their infrastructure That's going to be a little bit more difficult for them to deal with because they're not going to have a lot of armor on it. Just like we don't have armor on ours, it, they're not going to have armor on theirs. So any couple hits, just, just like one hit all the way to their core in the rear is going to take care of everything. Ooh, almost, almost, almost. But they still have fires over there. Come on. Come on. There it. There you go. A couple more hits back there. Laser across the top. Do it. Do it. No, oh, they have no batteries. What? Why? This is fine. All right, a little bit higher with these guys. I just barely keeping that intact. Come on. Boom. Very good. GG. Alright guys, if you want to see more high definition destruction of forts, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the like button next to it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later!